The SLS and Orion are set to launch at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The rocket stands 322 feet tall, about the length of a football field. The core of the rocket is devoted to propellant. At ignition, four engines and two booster rockets lift the craft with 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust. At about two minutes in and 28 miles up, the spent boosters are jettisoned. No longer needed, the launch abort system falls away. The core engines cut off and the main stage separates. The solar panels deploy. They will provide power throughout the journey. A translunar injection burn accelerates the ship to 24,500 miles per hour and into deep space. Out of fuel, the propulsion stage drops off, leaving only the service module and capsule. The craft coasts for about five days, powering its engine to adjust for lunar flyby. The moon's gravity helps pull the craft into a distant retrograde orbit. Engines burn for the return transit and course correct to intersect with Earth. The ship coasts with necessary correction burns to target Earth entry. The capsule separates as all propulsion power sources are expended. Thrusters twist the capsule to a heat shield down orientation. The capsule hits Earth's atmosphere at 24,500 miles per hour. Friction heats the shield to 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. As gravity pulls the craft down, parachutes deploy at 24,000 feet to slow its descent. The capsule splashes down in the Pacific Ocean about six weeks after launch. <laughs>